And we are back with some more playthrough or let's play on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Uh, yeah, guys, this is a, a continuation. And um, I don't know if it's just me or if anybody else realized that that background right there, that little sweet out cold background, let's go back to that. That background with all the turtles sitting there, that's actually from the show, and I'm just not noticing that. Like, if you look at the logo from the show, you see all the turtles in Sailor Web form. Yeah, I just thought that was interesting. You know, you just notice the, the smallest little details that uh, Red Fly is integrated into this game from the Nickelodeon show. But, um, I figured that I would go ahead and try to get a better, you know what I'm saying, grasp of the game. So, we're going to be repeating one of the chapters. Like, I initially started a blind playthrough on one of the chapters, but I wanted to go ahead and try to get a better feel for the game because, like, I've noticed, like, if you try to play this game, like, just hack and slash and based off your own instincts, you're going to pretty much fail. You have to play it like it's meant to be played because it is a specific strategy to play in this game. So we're going to restart level two. And we're going to restart level two. And um, since everybody's requesting it, I'm going to play with Donnie more because I seem like it seems like I've never really played with him that much. Yeah, but um, I just felt like I needed to get a better feel for the game, guys, because I want it to look better in terms of gameplay because this game has a lot to offer and it's getting a lot of flack. But from like all the stuff that I played and all the stuff that I'm learning, it just gets better and better. It gradually gets better and better. So, um, yeah, drink with a kick. Consuming an energy drink will not only fill your block meter, it will give you unlimited special attack meter. Yeah, and, um, I've pretty much been neglecting all the special items, too, so I'm gonna use those more. Uh, didn't Master Splinter ask us to come home? I believe he said we were exhausted and needed rest. So, we're just going to ignore Master Splinter? Everyone, cool it. Yeah, man, but, um... What I've seen is like when you do like attacks like this right here. Hold on, let me see if I can get it with a more familiar turtle. Like if I do an attack with Mikey. You see how his nunchucks start glowing? That's like a cue to like pause and hesitate. And then you continue and he does an even more powerful attack. Like that's one of the moves that I just noticed. And like each turtle has their own specific pause where their like weapons get like a certain certain gleam up in it. Okay, everyone keep cool. You're gonna notice that. Boom, you see that? And all the run techniques too. It's kind of like Tony Hawk too, man. Like when you try to do your combos and if you want to show off with it. Like if you're able to pull off a taunt during a combo, it's like it'll continue to give you points and bonus points. It's very awesome. So they're using crane technology now, that's interesting. I don't think they ever did that in the show. 
But man, just the nostalgia that runs with this game. If they let me do that longer, that would have been a hell of a lot better. That was fun though. Let's go, man. We'll stand there and braid each other's hair. Damn it. The Mausers. This is when the gameplay gets a little different and intuitive. You're going to notice like there's different animations on how you kill these guys. Ah. See, I can switch on the fly and still continue combo with this shit too. That's awesome. But dude, I just remember like when I was little, like we had all kinds of Ninja Turtle merchandise, man. Like I remember playing the video games. I remember playing like the arcade game, especially um Turtles in Time. And just being so fixated on turtles. Like I even got to the point to where I even felt sorry for the little turtles when they got ran over in the street. That's how bad it was. And like all the different action figures. Like I remember like one of my first Ninja Turtles action figures was the one that hit the backflips. You guys remember that shit? Like they, had, they had the Ninja Turtles that hit the backflips. And they had like different kinds of Ninja Turtles. You had the, the sports Ninja Turtles. You had the, um, I even had like a magician Raphael, like a, a Raphael that pulled like fucking birds and rabbits out of his hat. Just so many different things, man. Like I was just fixated. And then like, you know, like Ninja Turtle, it has this dark side too, you know, even though it has its bright days, it had its dark days. Like, who doesn't remember? I don't know, um... I don't think most of this generation remembers, but uh, who doesn't remember the Ninja Turtles out of their shell concert or coming out of their shells? I remember that. Like, and I'm not afraid to actually admit that I loved that tour when I was little, man. I loved that shit, even though like I was watching my favorite heroes become sellouts to the man. That was still fun to see, and I wore the fuck out of that tape. Like especially the one with Michelangelo rapping. Shit was funny as fuck. Damn it. Okay, that was all right. All right. <laughs> that was pretty dope. Come on, man, jump down. Dancing now. All right, there we go. Ah. I said jump down. Okay. I said I was going to play with Donnie, though. You guys want to see more of Donnie, so I ain't going to procrastinate on him. I ain't going to discriminate. Definitely make the game more fun. What you got? Yeah. 
You know, so I mentioned that I played this stage before, so you guys already know when you got a lot of Mausers around, you're gonna definitely gonna have to fight like a Mauser boss battle. You guys to fight um, Baxter Stockman at the end of this playthrough. I'm um, hopefully if we get that far. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight him. And um, let me just tell you that I got my ass on the first time I faced him. So I had to start over. There we go. You see that? That's the gleam I'm talking about. Nigo san. These guys are just dropping out of everywhere. That's the turtle way. Would have been so fucking awesome if you could hear profanity on this, even though it's a Nickelodeon related show. Just hear Raphael just saying damn repeatedly, like he did in the movie. Damn! It's like they don't even have the accent anymore, like when they say shredder. Like the shredder. A splinter. Fuck. Ah. Anything up here? Okay. We're gonna have to hack into this. I've noticed something too guys, like whenever you're hacking into something, it's very easy to hack with um, with Donnie for some reason, like the puzzle is a hell of a lot easier. Like it doesn't require that much stalk when you hack with him since he's the genius of the group. Change to Mikey. Did that master explode on purpose? Oh, shit. Now, these are the ones that I hate, right? I hate these motherfuckers. It's like they just run into you and randomly explode and they deal a lot of damage. Some of that, man.
bitch. <laughs> Get addicted to this. Go. Go, ninja. Go, my ninja. Go. There's the crush. Now this is where the game gets fun right here when you get to do your free run to this tunnel. It's fucking awesome. It just feels good. This is a secret door right here. Come on. Damn, this is going to be hard. Come on, man. See, there's no way I can get that one because it's blocking. Get that we just go ahead and just disregard that one. Oh shit, it's gotta get serious. It's time to bring out the big toys. Come on, man. I blocked that one. Oh, shit. I forgot that I got... Um... Hold on. Let me switch to him. I forgot that I had this. Combination style. Well, why isn't it? He's not doing it. Okay. Oh, 
Yeah, so we was able to get two weapon upgrades. I got Raph's uh, Iron Knuckles, and I got uh, Leo's Bladed Staff. Okay, I guess he just separates it. Goddamn mancers! Everyone saw that, right? Not looking good, partner. <laughs> Gotta watch those guys. I did. Oh, Wrath is dead. No wonder. Where are you guys coming from? You guys see that? We go. All right. Anyone else? Oh, yeah. Okay, so he's up now. Looking at you. That is not I was not gonna waste that damn pizza up on Ralph if I knew I could beat that whole way venomous. Alright, let's go. This is where I get fun. And this is where we got to fight a whole horde of these guys, and I am not looking forward to this part. Check it out. So we can find some kind of secret items. Jump down. Outstanding. <laughs> you fucking douchebag. <laughs> Mikey ruins it all. <laughs> I 
must be swift like a ninja. Whack. These guys. See how gay that was? This motherfucker just does a chili to split in midair. I can't. I'm gonna get my first lunch. Bring it around town. I got so many moves reminiscent to the movie. Like Mikey special when he spins on the ground. You got the uh little bowling ball roll. That's <laughs> that He burps in their face when you fucking uh counterattack too. I know there's a pizza over somewhere, okay. Yeah, one reason why I had to start over two guys is because Leonardo somehow ended over the, ended up over this fence and I don't know how he got over there and he was just sitting there. I had to start the whole game over. Well, not the whole game, but the whole stage at least. I don't know, it's like I'm finding a lot of glitches up in this game, but you know, I can't really penalize it too hard. This is not really a big game per se, it's just like a uh, downloadable game, you know, it's similar to an indie game if you ask me. Go over here. I'm gonna make sure that these lines don't intersect at all. Got it. What the fuck? Why oh, is already shaking his booty? Energy 
Reavers coming from directly east of you. There's a big door there. Ah. All right. Waiting on the next wave of enemies to come in. There we go. Ah! See, that's what I'm talking about, man. <coughs> so I'm getting over my cold, guys. Do you hear that? If you guys are still watching this playthrough, I'm getting over my cold. Like, my voice sounds a hell of a lot better than it did on the first playthrough. And also, I want to give you guys a, uh, you know, a big thank you, guys. I didn't think we were going to get a good reception like that. I mean, um, that's one thing I'm trying to do. I'm trying to regrow this channel because it really doesn't have, like, a foundation. Like, so far, I've been feeding you guys, like, empty calories. I have been giving you guys what you want. And I think what you want is a more interactive channel with, like, more playthroughs and stuff like that. So I've been lazy, but I'm trying to get more active with this channel. You gotta dig deep. Who the hell is dead? How does Ralph keep dying? He's supposed to be the toughest one on the damn team. Get up. I got this. That's what I'm talking about, man. No teamwork whatsoever. I got did a a team tag and everything, like a little tag uppercut, and he still didn't even do it. So we gotta go this way. We gotta follow these Mausers. But the, this game is definitely getting more funner than like my first playthrough. You just have to get the right level ups. And I heard they got this game available on Steam now too. So I can imagine that it looks a hell of a lot better on, on uh, the PC. Here we go. I'm gonna go up this ladder right quick. Go up the ladder! Ah, uh, all right. The pizza first. Seriously, how can we trust the pizza? La 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 la. Are you trying to hear that? Screw if it's spoiled in random places. It's freaking pizza. All right, I know this is gonna take a while, but we really need to go back and get that item that we just saw up there. It's gonna save our ass, so I'm gonna go back up the steps right quick. How do we get over there? Hold on, move. Oh yeah, this ladder. Yeah. 
it's a little bomb that we need. I think Donnie can equip it. So we're getting closer to fighting Baxter Stockman. You should bring that up with them at the next meeting. This is where it's gonna get very fun too. Gotta go get these items right quick. <laughs> and jacked up running animation. <laughs> okay, so we gotta hurry up and get out of here. Let's go, guys. Whoa. Woo! We gotta run like it's nose tomorrow. Hurry up, man. Don't mess up the free flow run. Let's go. Woo! Look, what I'm talking about is they really need to tone up the voices on this game. I can't hear the story and hear what's going on because it's so low. Get him. Oh, shit. Come on. Okay, more than I can take. Counter and another. Damn it. Call me. Check it out. I'm fucking super freak of nature. If you forget it. Come on, do the special. Ah! Use my brother, and you murdered him. I'll save you. How the hell are these? That's one reason why I'm dying now because these two are stuck up there. You dirty red! You killed my brother. Without sounding like a fortune cookie. 
Ah! Come on, man. It was not supposed to be like this. These guys were a cakewalk the last time I fought them. I'm not gonna revive you guys before I finish off this wave of enemies. Who else? The fuck is going on, man? This little Rudy Boo right here. Now get up! And these assholes are posing like they really did so. Ah! I was kind of stuck in limbo for a second. Hold on. <laughs> ah, man. See, that's what I'm talking about. This game has its glitches. And if you get stuck up in them, you are screwed, man. Because it messes up the whole playthrough. Because you have to go out of your way to start all over. Like, I, you know, I can say that it's a fun game and it's one of the best Ninja Turtle games that I've played, but it does have its glitches. Alright, so this is the part that they played on a demo. It's a stealthy mission. But for some reason, I can never get it right. So you hear that? You hear that music? Like, I always end up... Yeah, I always end up getting spotted for some reason. Like, they're always ready to beat my ass. I'll save you clothesline. I don't know why it's like soon as we enter this stage, we always get caught, man. Like I wanna venture into the stealth mode more, but damn I always get caught on this part. There we go. <laughs> I've been waiting to do that from jump, man. I hate when they do that dive. It's like you can never try to counter them. Get up. Sounds like this one. I wish you guys were still robotic like the old show. That's another question I want to ask you guys. Which one do you prefer more out of each cartoon iteration of the Ninja Turtles? Or do you just prefer the live action ones? Because I hear the live action ones are more faithful to the comic book. Ah! I hear the live action one is more faithful to the comic book. 
because like uh Karaf does get his ass owned a lot. I come in the comic book and the movie is similar to that. I think the movie is the, the one that um showed that they didn't have to have color coded knee pads and stuff too. Like they didn't have to be complete sellouts. Since most of them like uh in the comic books they only had one color mask, like all of them were red. I can hit him with that? Okay, everybody's revived. Yeah, like all the masks for the Ninja Turtles were red. Up in the comic book, and then the show came, and they made them more friendly looking. We need to find some pizza. Yeah, and that's what made them come to have like the distinctive mask and stuff. I don't mean to try to go off in history on you guys. Just a lot of people don't know this, man. Yeah, and then like um, you had the different shows and stuff, and all of them had the same look except for the co color-coded mask. That's what made them distinctive. That's why I'm glad that the uh, 2012 Nickelodeon show came out because it gave them a more distinguishable look. Like each of them has a different body shape. They don't all have the same kind of body structure, like muscular. You got Leo, who is like a um, a balanced form. Like he has a muscular physique and you got Raph who's totally ripped because he's the rough man and he's always lifting weights alright this is the hard part right here I'm gonna play with um, Mikey on this part ah I was gonna use my fucking pizza man There's a pizza. Goal! Hurry up and get... I can't... Alright, this isn't going well. Hurry up! Ah, oh, come on, man! We got this. I'm gonna try to survive this wave so I won't have to waste any more pizza, man. I know I got an energy drink or something, though. Let's go. Ah! We almost got him. Get up! Hurry up! Alright, we got him. Get up, everybody. We seriously need to find some help somewhere. So there should be a door somewhere around here. I need to find I need to find some help first though. 
I don't think there's any around here, but um, let's go ahead and proceed forward. Always use Donnie to hack into stuff, man. Like, Donnie always comes through the clutch. If this loading screen would hurry up. About time, okay. This is gonna no go straight. Ah, eater, eater. shut up. I screwed that one up. Totally screwed that one up. Shut up, Daddy. Get back to work. We need to get moving. We'll get it this time. Why does the loading screen take so fucking long on this one? We got this one this time. We got this one, people. I didn't know I had to go around, man. I'm gonna stop it right there, guys. Next time we continue this playthrough, we will have this shitty ass control panel unlocked. I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. Uh, I asked you guys to like the video if you like it or dislike the video if you didn't like it. And give me your feedback. We're going to continue this playthrough. But anyways, this is your boy RBG coming back with another video game commentary for you sexy YouTube individuals out there. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you have a good day. Peace.